Hey beauties, welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be trying out a new foundation. This one, this time, is a drugstore foundation. I'm so excited. It is the Catrice True Skin Hydrating Foundation with Hyaluronic Acid and it says it is long wearing. I love the bottle. It comes in like a really nice heavy glass bottle. It has a nice pump to it. Before we apply this to the face, let me read you a little bit about it. I think it comes in 18 or 20 shades. It retails for $11, which is super cheap. It says, enhance your true skin with the Catrice True Skin Hydrating Foundation. This long wearing vegan foundation has medium buildable coverage that gives your skin a natural, real skin finish. Ultra light foundation texture that melts into the skin for a real skin finish. It's formulated with hydrating hyaluronic acid and watermelon seed oil. Medium to high coverage, buildable and long wearing, available in 20 shades. It is cruelty free and vegan. And that's what it says. So I'm pretty excited. If it works as good as it says it does, I mean, for $11, you can't go wrong. Anyways. Oh, and also, did you guys notice the hair? I chopped it all off. It is springtime, and I was done with the long brown. So I took out my extensions and chopped her off bleached it all out. I still have to tone it and things like that. If you guys want to see how I tone out the brassiness, then let me know and I'll film that video. Also, we'll have some fun styling short hair videos coming up, so stay tuned for those. But the reason we're here today is this foundation. So if you want to see how it wears and applies, keep on watching. I do already have my face primed to do that. I use the Peter Thomas Roth Skin to Die For No Filter Mattifying Primer. This stuff is almost empty. I'm trying to finish it up. And for my under eyes, of course, I use the Becca Anti-Fatigue Under Eye Primer. You guys know I love this stuff. But now for the fun part. Ooh. My lid just came off. Now for the fun part, let's get into this foundation. I'm using 030 Neutral Sand. I'm gonna start off with two pumps. It is a fairly liquidy formula. Let's bring you guys in a bit here so we can really see. That's actually covering quite nice. This is one thin layer. I'm going to build it up a little bit and just see how that goes. I guess I could have showed you guys the time. It is 9.55 in the morning. This is what it looks like built up a little bit. I think it's sitting on the skin really nice. I'm going to go in with some concealer and then set it all. For that, I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Magic Touch Concealer in the shade four.
To set everything, I'm gonna go in with my Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Setting Powder. This is what it's looking like with the concealer and the powder. I'm going to jump off and finish my face on camera and then I'll be right back. All right, you guys, the rest of my face is on except for the eyeballs because I did receive the new Odin's Eye uh, Hella Palette. This is with Angelica and it looks beautiful. I'm going to be filming with this later on today. So that's why my eyes aren't done yet, but you will see the look throughout the day in one of my check-ins. Anyways, this is what everything is looking like right now. It is the rest of my blush, bronzer, highlight is on. I did set it all. Everything is looking quite nice. I will show you guys here in the window in natural light so you can really see and then I'll do a check-in later on but yes so far it is looking fantastic and for $11 all right I will see you in some natural light all right you guys this is it in front of the window in some natural light again I think it just looks beautiful it is sitting on the skin so nice. It's not creasing up anywhere yet. I'm excited to see how this wears throughout the day. So I'll be back later. All right, guys, it is 540. So that means if I put it on at 10 this morning, it's been on for what? Seven and a half hours ish. Let's let's see how it's going so far. Let me zoom you in. going to remove the spectacles. Of course, right away, we can see where the glasses sit. That is just how it is. There is no getting around that. The rest of the face is looking nice. I am starting to get a little shiny. You can see in my cheek area and my forehead a bit, I am getting a little shiny. We are going to powder it up just a little bit. For that, I am going in with the By Terry Hyaluronic Hydro Powder Palette. This is in fair to medium. I'm just going to mix the top two shades together with my Rare Beauty powder brush. And we're just gonna Pants this into the skin. Nothing fancy, not taking my time. This is what it's looking like after we touched it up. For $11, you guys, I'm blown away. Let me put my spectacles back on so we can see what we're doing here. What do you guys think of the short hair too, by the way? I didn't ask you at the beginning, but I'm loving it. Just chopped it all off. I'm still in the process of going blonde, like I said. I'm digging it. It feels light and airy and I'm so excited to do some different styles with it. I love styling short hair. People often think that you're limited with what you can do with short hair, but really, you're not. I'll show you soon in another video. All right, you guys, I'm gonna go. I've got dinner to start cooking, and I will be back before I go to bed. See you soon. All right, you guys, it is 11 minutes after nine. So I've had the foundation on for about 11 hours. It's been a busy day. Things probably could have held up a lot better if I wasn't as busy. All right, so the one thing that I do notice that I think is the, 
The worst part of how this wore today for me was on my chin area. Let's just zoom you in and I'll show you what I'm talking about. You can see in here, it has worn away, but it's built up in this crease under my lip. And other than where my glasses rub away, we did touch up a couple hours ago and I am starting to get the same oils back in my cheeks and my forehead there. But really, everything else is looking still quite nice. And I mean, for $11, I pushed a good 11 hours wear out of this foundation for $11. And do you guys remember, wasn't that long ago, I reviewed the new Makeup Forever HD Skin Tint Foundation? I had to touch this up in the five hour mark and it was already breaking away. I mean, don't get me wrong, the Makeup Forever one is a great foundation. This, I think, is gonna be really nice in the summertime when I just want some quick to throw on. But for both of them being kinda, I think they're supposed to be pretty similar. The Catrice for $11, yes. I do recommend it. My hair is looking a little crazy right now. It is getting late. I'm tired. For 11 bucks, I definitely, the Catrice True Skin Hydrating Foundation has my thumbs up. I love it. I mean, look. Just look. 11 hours. It is still holding on. Except for my chin. I don't know what's going on there. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you do enjoy these foundation wear tests, then please give this video a big thumbs up. If you're not already part of the men's beauty family, what are you waiting for? Head down there, hit subscribe. If you want to be notified of upcoming videos, then we all know you got to hit the bell. Also, there is a giveaway going on. You are, your time is running out. So if you want to be entered, go back, find that video, watch it, follow the rules, be entered, and there are some amazing things that someone's gonna get to win. You don't wanna miss out, it ends April 1st. Be sure to check that out. And until next time, I hope you all have a fabulous day.